Buns are ready. Not those ones. So what we do is we grab the vanilla pod, cut it in half lengthways, um, and uh, and scrape out the seeds. We're going to keep the seeds in the custard throughout, but the vanilla pods we will use as well, but discard later on. So <clears throat> in a saucepan, pour out, pour in your milk, add your vanilla pods and your seeds, and um, and put that on the heat. Next, get your egg yolks and your caster sugar, and give them a good mix. A really good mix. Add to that your flour and your corn flour um, through a sieve of course to take any lumps away and then we add the um, the heated milk just under a simmer is, is where you want it to be and then slowly add that into your egg mix um, give it a good mix and then pour it back into your saucepan and, uh, and reheat it slowly. I, I tend to do a figure of eight on the bottom of the saucepan once it's thickened, I, um, I tend to use a whisk and um, whisk it vigorously. I love that word. Anyway, whisk it until it's um, at the consistency you like it. I like it probably slightly runnier than most people like it. But then we pass that through a sieve into, um, into a bowl and then just cool it down in the fridge. Now for the buns. In a pan on the stove, add your milk, your butter, and your vanilla extract, or essence, whichever you prefer. And also your chocolate. and um, <clears throat> bring it up to temperature and, and melt it. Now in your mixing bowl, put in your flour, salt, and your dried yeast, and give that a good mix through. And then add it to your mixing machine slowly but surely add your warmed through milk um, mixture give it a good slow slow beat we love our mixer to bits although it's from the cheaper end of the spectrum of mixers as you can see when we turn it up and make our bread, we have to hold on to it for dear life because if we don't, it bounces all over the table. Now that you've taken your dough out of the uh, airing cupboard or wherever you've left it, nice and warm for an hour, roll it out and then cut, I'd say 15 evenish even sized um, pieces of dough. And then I roll them into a ball and then squish them out, fill them with the pastry cream, um, give them a little egg wash and put the raspberries in the middle and then roll them into little balls making sure they're really secure and then I place the folded bit on the bottom then we egg wash the then we egg wash them because I've been in the biz for 20 years I think I've got all the best gadgets and I have I've got the best rolling pin and the only only rolling pin I need check it out it's a play-doh rolling pin from my children and it's all I've got so it's all I can use you saw in some video that I've used my hands but I reckon so, future vlogs on YouTube, you're going to see Play-Doh rolling pins coming out, I'm telling you. Then we egg wash our little buns. Buns are ready. Not those ones. So we cook them for about 15 to 20 minutes 
uh, the glaze should be nice and golden on the top and take them out of the oven and let them cool down. Melt your remaining white chocolate in the microwave or on a stove top and then drizzle it over, over the top of the buns once they've cooled down. Mmm! Wow!